Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about three astronaut tests with hardening soil model. And uh, this is the paper that I'm going to follow and I will do uh, uh, these uh, three astronaut tests on Plaxis 2D and also the Plaxis 3D. I will follow every step in this uh, paper and you can download this paper in the link uh, from the link in the description so please uh, go check it out now first i'm going to start with the plexus 2d so uh, first i need to change the model type here to axis symmetry and the size is one and one And next is a uh, ore hole. Now I'm going to create the uh, soy. And uh, for the weight of the soy here, I will keep the uh, zero. You can check the detail in this paper. Okay, now I will assign this soy. Next, we can go to structure, and I need to create a line load at the top of the soy, and also the uh, uh, right side of the soy. But I need to change the direction of the load. Okay, next we can go to mesh. First, uh, we need to change the coarseness factor and mesh. Okay, and we can go to stake instruction. First thing is uh, we need to change the boundary. So uh, the boundary that we need to change is uh, for the left side of the soy is what uh, uh, I mean sorry uh, uh, horizontally fit and for the bottom uh, boundary here is uh, vertical uh, vertically fit. So you can do this by go to model condi condition and chain the boundary here. So for y minimum, we can just use normally fig or uh, vertically fig. It's basically the same. But uh, for y maximum, we change this to three, and this one is also uh, normally fixed. And for y uh, maximum, we can uh, 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 keep the default here free. Okay, next uh, I'm going to create a paste here. And I need to change the parameter here. And OK. And you can activate the load. You can check the uh, load here. Next, we need to create another uh, paste. For, for the second page here, you need to change the vertical load here and also the, uh, the placement here, you need to reset it to zero 
and change this one also and you can uh, check the boundary here next uh, the page 3 if we start from page number 1 to change this again this time uh, you need to deactivate this load and keep this the same and you can uh, check the boundary condition as well now uh, we show you the preview page So you can see the uh, boundary condition, it's like this. You can change to another pace. You can check the load and boundary condition. Okay, now uh, I'm going to add the uh, stretch point. You can select any uh, straight point, it, it, uh, it's the same, update, and now you can uh, do the calculation. Okay, now you can uh, preview the result. I'm going to create a curve for X axis. I'm going to select the vertical strain and for the Y axis, I'm going to choose the vertical stress. Okay, now uh, we deact deselect uh, these two pace and flip uh, the uh, graph so you can see the graph here. You can uh, so, uh, put your cursor on any point uh, here and you can uh, see the the number of sigma yy it's equal to minus 322 and you can check the result here and for the uh, extension as well for uh, the number of the sigma yy is minus 26 so you can uh, compare with this number here so this is how you uh, do the uh, triaxial uh, test with hardening uh, soil model in Plaxis 2D okay now I'm going to uh, To do this in uh, Plaxis 3D, it's um, not so much different. So for the soy parameter, it's uh, basically the same. just input uh, the number in the paper and assign the soy next you can go to structure and uh, create the surface load so first I'm going to create uh, the load at 
the top of the soy here and next I'm going to create the surface load for this side and change the direction and for the last one and this side Okay, now you can uh, go to mesh you can also preview uh, the result of the mesh okay next I'm going to uh, chain uh, setting in uh, for the initial pace here, first I'm going to change the uh, boundary condition. So this one is free, this one is free, and this one is normally fake. And create another uh, pace one. Change this. Uh, the pace number two start from uh, pace number one and we set displacement to zero change uh, this parameter and you can uh, check the boundary condition as well next one start from uh, pace number one Okay, so if uh, everything is uh, uh, set, next um, I need to uh, select the stress point. Again, you can uh, select any stress point. Now uh, you can do the calculation. Sorry, I think I missed uh, some step here. So first I need to activate the load. Okay, and I need to check the load here. For the second pace, you need to activate the load as well. And you need to change the load at the top of the soy to minus uh, 450 and for the last pace you only need to activate the surface load at uh, these uh, size okay now you can run the calculation Now you can uh, view the result. I'm going to create a curve, and for x axis, it's the uh, uh, strain. But uh, this time we need to select uh, upsilon uh, zz because uh, the z axis is the vertical axis. And 
for y-axis I'm going to select the stress and I need to flip this and deselect the initial piece and piece number one and apply you can check the result here the uh, sigma zz is minus 372 and you can check uh, with this result and also for the extension uh, the sigma zz is minus 26 so uh, the result is correct so you can do uh, this uh, three astral test in Plaxis uh, 2D or 3D, it, the results uh, uh, the result are the same. So this is how you do it, and uh, this is the end of my video. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, thank you for watching. I see you guys in my next video.